Namaste students. Today's chapter is permutation and combination. Here we will discuss all time saving results related to both permutation and combination. Let us begin the session with permutation. The first result it is the number of permutation of n objects taken or at a time it is given by NPR is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. It means out of n object selecting r distinct object and arranging it in a different order denoted by NPR. Here some important points related to factorial. The first one n factorial. It is nothing but the product of first n natural number n into n minus 1 into etc. 3 into 2 into 1. Next 0 factorial its value is 1. NP naught 1. NPN is equal to n factorial. Next one important note about expansion of 2n factorial. 2n factorial is equal to 2 to the power n into n factorial into 1 into 3 into 5 into etc. up to 2n minus 1. Next result 2. Here in first result we took all objects all are distinct. Suppose the repetition of the object allowed out of n object R objects taken where repetition allowed, then the number of permutation is n to the power r. Result 3. The number of permutation of n object of which p1 objects are of first kind, p2 objects are of second kind, etc. pk objects are of kth kind is given by n factorial divided by p1 factorial into p2 factorial into etc pk factorial. Result 4. The number of permutation of n distinct objects taken r at a time when a particular thing always included in each arrangement. It is given by r into n minus 1 p r minus 1. If a particular thing never included in each arrangement then the permutation is given by n minus 1 p r. Next, result 6. Number of permutation of n distinct object taken r at a time when k specified thing things always occur together. It is given by n minus k p r minus k into r p k provided k less than r. Suppose k specified things never occur together then the permutation is n minus k p r. Next, result A is about circular permutation. Here two cases are there. First case about if the clockwise and anti-clockwise permutations are distinct then the number of circular permutation of n distinct object is given by n minus 1 factorial. We use this to find number of permutation of arrangement of students in a round circular table. Here we can identify clockwise permutation and anti-clockwise permutation both are distinct. Suppose we can't identify whether the object arranged in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction then such permutation is given by 1 by 2 into n minus 1 factorial that is case 2 and we use this second case to find number of permutation of beads in a necklace or garland flowers arranged in a garland. Next time saving results for permutation. First one NPR is equal to n minus 1 pr plus r into n minus 1 p r minus 1 or equally npr plus r into npr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 pr. Second result npr by npr minus 1 is equal to n minus r plus 1. Third one 1 into 1 p 1 plus 2 into 2 p 2 plus etc. n into n p n is equal to n plus 1 p n plus 1 minus 1. Ok students, next is about combination. The first result related to combination is the number of selection of R objects from the
the given an object it is denoted by n c r it is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial now what is the difference between permutation and combination particularly n p r and n c r n p r is number of permutation of selection and arrangement of the object next n c r is just the selection of r object out of n object result 2 the number of diagonals in a polygon of n sides it is given by n c 2 minus n for drawing a diagonal we need two points therefore from the n n points we can draw n c 2 lines minus n this n represent number of sides therefore number of diagonals in a polygon is n c 2 minus n result 3 given n points of which k points are collinear then the first result number of straight lines can be drawn from the given n points of which k points collinear is n c r minus k c 2 plus 1 similarly the number of triangles can be drawn is n c 3 minus k c 3 Result four. Number of rectangles on a chessboard, including the squares, it is thousand two hundred and ninety-six. Only the squares in a chessboard is two not four. Time-saving results related to combination. First one, n c r by n c r minus one is equal to n minus r plus one by r. Result two. If n c a is equal to n c b, then either a is equal to b or n is equal to a plus b. Result three: n c r is equal to n c n minus r. Fourth one: n c r plus n c r minus one is equal to n plus one c r. And the last result related to combination is two n c n. Its expansion using the formula. Is given by one into three into five into etc. up to two n minus one into two to the power n divided by n factorial. Thank you.